If you host Zoom meetings, wouldn't it be nice to get feedback from the attendees right away? Now, one way, obviously, is in the Zoom meeting, you can have them chat their feedback below or you put the link to the survey before everyone leaves. But another tip is you can have the survey itself show up after the meeting has ended in the attendees browser. So let me show you how to do that. So for example, um, this is one of my surveys for my webinars that shows up right after the attendee leaves the meeting on their browser. Not Now, to be clear, not every attendee is going to clearly see the survey because some attendees might have many, many, many tabs on the browser and they might not see uh, that one and they might close it. Um, but it, I find that it does increase how many people take the survey by doing this. So the way you do it is you go, you log into your Zoom account online and you'll see your upcoming meetings like this. Most of mine are recurring meetings, but you see upcoming meetings. And let's say that I wanted to put a survey um, pop up in this meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. Just so instead of whoops, let me go ahead and move this to the side. When you move your mouse over this, instead of clicking edit, this is real confusing. I don't know why they do this, but this allows some settings. But if you click directly into the meeting, it allows other settings. So we're going to click directly on the meeting name itself. Okay. And then here, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And here it says survey. So I'm going to go ahead and click on survey. And see, you can either create a survey uh, using Zoom itself. You know, interesting. I haven't actually done this part before, but I prefer to use Google Forms for a survey. So I click on Use Third Party Survey. And now it asks me for a link. So I'm going to go ahead and click on, um, uh, well, you know, I'm going to use, I'm going to use this other one here. So this is a typical survey that I would want to show up. Uh, for that that meeting that's in question here. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit this. So this is what uh, users would see at the end of the meeting, but and it would be their own email address, obviously not mine. Uh, I'm going to click on edit the form. I'm going to click on send, and I'm going to get the link to the survey. I'm going to click copy down here, and then I'm going to go back to Zoom and paste in, you know, command V on the keyboard or control V on Windows and click save. And there you go. And um, uh, let me see. Let me just move this uh, window here. Survey options. If you just want to double check it, you can click edit. And it says, do you want to show the survey in the browser when the meeting ends? You know, for the attendee, it shows in their browser. I keep this checked. I click save. And yep, there it is. Uh, and you can click on preview if you want to see what the attendees will, will find when they end the meeting. So there you go. Right? Simple as that. And you're all done. Uh, there's nothing else that needs to be done. This is all, all complete now. So if you ever want to edit um, the link, you can click edit here, come back into the meeting, at, click edit or click delete if you don't want the survey popping up anymore. And I don't think it's an actual pop-up window. I think it just opens it in another tab in their existing browser. Uh, if they don't have a browser open, I don't know if it opens up a, a software. It might just check if they have an uh, existing browser open. Anyway, I hope this helps. If you have any other tips or any other, um, you know, uh, questions or, or again, tips for uh, attendees to fill out surveys, you can comment below. Thanks a lot.